future of the universe. Hi everyone! So today, we are going to talk about the future of the universe. Have you ever wondered what's being helpful in the future of our universe? Does we live forever? So does the universe. How long the lifespan it would take? How long Earth will be survived? Based on prediction made by scientists, 4 billion years from now, the Earth's temperature will increase, which means all life on Earth will extinct. All things must pass. That includes life on Earth which surely be wiped out eventually. Infinity and beyond. Infinity is endless and therefore cannot be reached. So how does it relate to the future of universe? Before we see the future of the universe, let us see the real definition of the universe. So, what is the universe? The universe is believed to be about 10 million light years in diameter and contain a vast number of galaxies. It has been expanding since its creation in the Big Bang about 13 million years ago. The universe began its cosmic life in the Big Bang nearly 14 billion years ago and has been expanding ever since. But what is expanding into? In 1912, Edwin Hubble's American astronomer gave us a definitive answer. His survey of the night sky found all faraway galaxies recede or move far away from the Earth. Moreover, the further the galaxy, the faster it recedes. So how can we interpret? Consider a loaf raisin bread rising in the oven. The butter rises by the same amount in between each and every raisins. If we think raisins as a stand-in for galaxies and butter as a space between them, we can imagine that the stretching or expansion of intergalactic space will make the galaxies recede from each other. And for any galaxy, the faraway neighbors will recede a larger distance than nearby one in the same amount of time. Sure enough, the equation of relativity predicts a cosmic tug of war between gravity and expansion. It's only in the dark void between galaxies where expansion wins out and space stretches. So there is our answer. The universe is expanding on to rate of expansion. It's called the Hubble constant. Since the day of Hubble and Lemaire, researchers discovered that not only the universe is expanding, but its expansion is actually getting faster. The universe is accelerating thanks to a mysterious force known as dark energy. Matter is not made up of black hole. It is scattered all over the place, probably made up from complicated particles that does not interact with light and matter. It is basically a stuff that we can't see. The best evidence for dark matter is a measurement of something that is called cosmic microwave. Background, the afterglow of Big Bang dark energy, the more distance the galaxies, the larger the degree of redshift are produced because the universe itself is expanding. Redshift occur because wavelength stretch as the universe expands. Dark energy is the reason why the expansion of universe is accelerating. So basically, dark energy is made up from the empty space that was created when the galaxy were drifting away from each other. The more distance the galaxy, the more empty space was created, hence the more dark energy in the universe. That's why it takes about 68% in the universe while dark matter 27 and others only 5%. Shrinkage. Will the universe ever shrink? Space is expanding and galaxies are reaching further away from us because the fabric of space itself is growing. The first one is Big Freeze. During Big Freeze, the universe itself becomes so vast that supplies of new gas will be spread so thin that no new star can form. Under that model, time becomes an endless void in which nothing ever happened as there is little to no energy left in the universe. What clear is that galaxies, planet, and life will cease to exist. Big Rip, where dark energy becomes so powerful that it overcomes the gravitational force and rip the fabric of space apart. Everything in the universe will slowly decay into radiation, collapse in on itself, or be ripped apart as the universe ramps up. This will leave the universe full of single disconnected particles. Big Crunch This will happen when the gravity becomes the dominant force. It will stop further expansion of the universe and begin the process of pulling everything back into its singularity. Everything in it will shrink and be trapped. From the second perspective, from the disappearance of the sun. From prediction, 
it seems that one billion years later, the sun will be brighter 10% than it is now today. Imagine how scorched it would be. Then, how do we know about the future of our universe? Essentially now, we know that our galaxy called Milky Way have a gravitational swirl with nearby galaxy called Andromeda. It accelerates at certain speed and it might be collided each one another. Imagine how scary it would be. Luckily people, our astronomers had been predicting that this massive incident would never be happened. Milky Way will better it out. With how? By the sun. By 5 billion years later, the sun will be expanding more to an enormous size, so does our universe. Therefore, it will keep on expanding until it becomes a red giant star. And at a certain point, it will undergo a swelling and engulf the planet around. Thank you, Izati, for your explanation just now. So, based on her explanation just now, the sun will keep expanding. But there might be real chance the Earth will not be swallowed by the sun. So, what will be the prominent effect if the sun suddenly disappeared? So, the prominent effect will be the gravitational pull. The gravitational pull will become lessened. Will it be really bad if gravitational pull become lessened? Will it be explode? Will it be flying into the space? Well, to a certain extent of answers, I mean, yes. To the physicists, gravity is a space-time geometry as what as described by our beloved scientist named Einstein. So, as the gravitational pull become lessened, the orbit of the Earth will become larger and larger, and this will make the Earth seem like it's retreating away from its orbit. There is small chances that the Earth will collide with other planets or asteroids. There is also a tiny chance that the Earth will survive from any collision or asteroids. Or worse, get sucked by the black hole. So, the Earth will still keep spinning and the Earth will move in a straight line for 43,000 years at a speed at 18 miles per second. Regardless of that, the life on Earth must survive by leaving the Earth right before the sun run out of the hydrogen. So, who's coming with me to the Mars or any other planets right now? Let's go! And lift off of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, taking the way. Big crunch, big rip, or big freeze, which one will happen? The universe remains mysterious, yet it is the most beautiful thing we have seen. Therefore, the universe will continue on expanding to more and more. Instead, it will generate a new galaxies and life might be implanted on the new planets. That's why the universe exists. Next conclusion is, there will be only few photons left and the whole universe will have frozen down to absolute zero. Space and time comes to end because this is an entropic universe and everything is rotating away and decaying right before our eyes. Thank you.